gentlemen, welcome to the first game of the day. It's going to be between Backpacks Gaming and Fly to Moon. Uh, Fly to Moon, trying to go head to head with Team Spirit yesterday, just couldn't do it, and Backpacks got knocked out by effect. We do seem to have lost the heroes in the draft, but we still have the names, so it's kind of alright. Hopefully we can see the heroes in the game, otherwise we're going to have a bit of a problem, but for now, we'll just go off the names. I'm going to be your caster, I'm Rob and Roll Gaming, I am glad you can join me today for these... It's a one best of three. No, it's a best of one, then a best of three. This is the best of one. Winner moves through to the losers bracket finals for the MDL CIS. I think it's the playoffs. Uh, so, yeah, the winner of this moves on to a best of three. Um, between... Let me get the schedule. It's pr I'm pretty sure it's effect that they play up against. Yeah, it is. It's effect. So, winner moves on. And we get a lifesteal. Why do we get a lifesteal and not anybody else? Right, give me a sec. I'll reset the game. Five seconds remaining. Give you my lovely voice while we try and do this. Yep, got them all back. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty neat, pretty neat, pretty neat. Um, yeah, so it is a best of one when it moves on to play effect in a best of three. And, uh. Team pick. Beastmaster. It's gonna be the Beastmaster pickup. Um, I've lost my train of thought. Where was I up to? Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. So yeah, they play a best of one into a best of three. Uh, the winner of that goes through into the playoffs. I, I, I found my train of thought. I found it looking at the schedule. Um, staring me in the face. Yeah, so the winner plays Best of three. Winner of that best of three moves on to play in the playoffs, which is going to be between the winner of both groups and the loser of both groups, effectively. Um, or the loser winner of both groups. The loser winner will play up against the winner winner. Um, so, winner winner of A please plays loser winner of B. Winner winner of B plays loser winner of A, and they go into a playoff little bracket, and the winner qualifies for the Mars Dota League. So today we're going to be seeing who gets through. The playoffs will be tomorrow, I do believe. Um, but for now we are in a match. The draft is going to be the Dark Will, the Chen, the Beastmaster, as well as the Phantom Lancer Fly to Moon. Tusk, Disrupt, the Lifesteal, and a Bat Rider for Backpacks Gaming. I know I talked like nonsense there for a good five minutes. Just bear with me. It's early morning. We're waking up. We're getting ready. We're getting into the game. It happens. So the band's going to be the Death Prop of the Bane, the Gyrocopter, we've got the Brood Mama, the TB, as well as the Puck, Fan Out, Meanwhile, Flight to Moon, taking out the Razor, the Tiny, Sand King, Enchantress, Omni Knight, and the Tinker. Going for a fairly creep-heavy lineup here with the Chen and the Beastmaster. Flight to Moon, maybe you want to try and end this game in about 10 minutes with the giant creep army. Um, once the Beastmaster obviously gets his level 4 in the Call of the Wild, being able to summon a random neutral creep. Jen obviously being able to persuade, let's call it, let's put it politely, persuade the creeps to do his bid in Dark Willow. Good team fight support, obviously has a lot of control with the Cursed Crown of the Brambles. Does a lot of damage with the Shadow Realm as well as that blooming um, Bedlam. And then the Terrify is exactly that, a terrifying spell. You know, to I think it's like a four second effect where you just send the enemies back to the fountain. Which, if the Tusk disrupts a lifesteal so far on the Batrider group up, you get it onto all four of them, and the lifesteal has got his rage up, you are going to absolutely isolate that lifesteal from the rest of his team and be able to burst him down before the team can react. Four seconds is plenty of time to kill a hero, kill him off, and then kill the rest of the team. So, Dark Willow is an absolutely Disgusting hero at the minute, and long may it continue. Just need to see Pangalia. And uh, Techies. Fingers crossed Techies gets in before TI. Pangalia gets in there as well. We get a full roster. 
that we can watch in delight and horror as uh, the teams pick them up and absolutely run rampant. Plus, I mean, Techies is due a boo. Do it? Techies is due a buff, is what I was trying to say, because he's, he's kind of on the edge, you know? I'm not saying he needs to be super buffed, but just a little one. Maybe take the noise away from his minds, you know? Um, something like that. So, getting into this match, we're going to have Iceberg and the Queen of Pain sound on the Phantom Lance. We've got Non Gratter on the Beastmaster. No fear on the Chen, and always one of Fly is going to be flying about on that Dark Willow. Fervian on the Tusk, PSM on the Disruptor. We've got Artez on the Lifesteal. Orbit playing the Bat Rider, and Bob Ruha on the Kunko. Looks like it's going to be that Bat Rider in the off lane. We've got Artez on the Lifesteal. We've got Carry PSM, Fervian rotating, rotating supports, and Kunko in a row pickup on that mid lane Kunko. At least from the positions they were playing yesterday. They could move the lanes about if they wanted to. Um, but I know Bob Ruha did play that mid lane yesterday. So I'm assuming it's going to be something similar today. The cleave going to be extremely effective at dealing with the Phantom Lance Relusions. Prepare for battle. So we are going to be seeing a smoke out of the base by Team Backpacks. Otherly known as GG3333 and got another name as well. Uh, Mega Ladder Esports. So they are going with Backpacks Gaming today. Rotating through in the smoke, they could find Silent. Smoke is going to break, no spells picked up by the Disruptor. The Silent breaks the smoke, just run away. Should be able to get out of there safe. Yeah, even Iceberg pinging out the life stealer. They know they're there, and they're just going to back themselves away. Don't really want to engage. Maybe they go for the invade, though. They know there's three heroes down here. Kunker's going to be sitting in the mid, wait to block up the creeps. But, um. Going to be the Beastmaster. They're going to get a, try and get aggressive. It looks like oh, they're going to maybe rotate through. Yeah, it looks like they're swapping the lanes now. They've got themselves 18 seconds. The supports can TP up. Um. Fervin maybe plays a little bit of a uh, deception tactics here. They think there's three down on the bottom while they're moving up to the top. Phantom Lancer is moving there as well. So the Dark Willow is coming in. Sees the Tusk. Tusk's going to get one. Going to get two. And they get themselves three. Silent moves himself up into the top lane. There's already a ward there, so they know this is happening. And now Tusk moves himself up to the top lane while the Phantom Lancer is blocking the wave. So it could cost him his early TP. Or his free TP. His free P? While he moves himself up to the top lane, the supports Chen is in the mid lane. Helping out the Queen of Pain. Helping out Iceberg for now. So it's going to be 1-3-1. One, three, one, three, one. Uh, with the creeps being set back. You know, top lane silent. Gets the doppelganger. He's actually taking the doppelganger level 1. Just playing it safe. Um, is going to be going up against the lifestealer as well as the disruptor. While the supports rotate up. Tusk is going to be there. It's going to be a 1v1 Beastmaster versus the Batrider. Now, I'm not sure if FTM or uh, Backpacks actually want to be shifting these lanes, but this could be our first blood silent. Get a pretty down low. The Thunderbolt is going to be there as well. The right clicks. And Artez picks up that first kill. And I wouldn't be surprised. The Phantom Lance is actually going to TP back up top. I'm not wanting to try and deal with the the Bat Rider at all. They're going to be giving this lane a 2. Because meanwhile, the Queen of Pain in the mid lane is going to be taking some harass. Even Bob Ruha taking that Shadow Strike. The Queen of Pain, one point into the Shadow Strike, one point into the Blink. Standard build so far. I wonder if he's going to go for the Queen of Pain or maybe go for a couple more points into the Blink. He's forced to pop the solve. Kunker needs to wait. He's actually only got himself Tangos. Queuing up that bottle. Chen, however, we're seeing the new Golem army. As uh, Fervian tries to do what he can, but the Golems are going to be in there. Go on, get you gone as Nofi is going to take a Thunderbolt. There's going to be the Ice Shards. It's going to be off the mark, but Nofi can't get around. Tries to turn this around for a kill. Kinetic Field comes up as well, but the PSM might go down as well. There's the Shadow Realm. Last right click will be enough coming out from Always Wanna Fly. Uh, that Shadow Realm, only level 1, still adds 
Another 120. The 52 attack damage. Get a quick pause. Your atrocity mate. Hopefully it won't be too long. Uh, no reason given just one or two minutes. Get that down a bit, move it over. Your atrocity mate. Beast bomb. Make it better. As the player's using out the voice lines now. <laughs> Cause why not? So, let's take a look at the last hits. Iceberg sitting at the top of the chart with 11. We are only two minutes into the game. It's a decent amount. Bob Ruha, it's got seven, so he's close behind. And for being a melee hero up against the Queen of Pain, you know, that's pretty all right. He does have himself a little bit more regen than usual. As a solve, it's just about to wear off. The Beastmaster could be having a little bit of trouble here in the bot lane. Um... Up against the Bat Rider, obviously you've got the Sticky Napalm, the Firefly going out, two points in that now. It's going to be hard for the Beastmaster to get in close for those last hits because he's just going to be Sticky Napalmed, chased down. So, actually opting for the two points into the Axis to get the last hits at a distance. Meanwhile on the bot. Uh, in the mid. A null tally coming up from the Queen of Pain. Uh, casual null tally, I think. Double null. I don't know. The Queen of Pain's, it's like 50 50 on this build. The, the, usually, Queen of Pain's just go for this casual double null tally. Um, but, you know, every so often you You're do see them moving pain. into that. Uh, what am I looking for here? Completely lost my train of thought. Moving into the veil. Yeah, because you get two, you get obviously the Iron Will, which is going to be good for the armor, the health regen as well, especially up against the Conker, um, with the Tidebringer, obviously two points into that now, it is physical damage, so will help out there, and obviously the extra bonus damage you get from your spells. Not too bad, the Shadow Strike coming out once again onto Bob Ruha, it's actually going to be two points in that, so yeah, going to go for the Harass over time with that Shadow Strike. Jen, got himself the golems once again. Centaurs coming in as well. Do they have the control as the TP comes into the mid? It looks like, are they going to be able to get, they do get Bob Ruha with the Beastmaster rotating through. Iceberg now being chased down. Doesn't have the blink for another six seconds, but Longrata will be able to block through. And now with the Tusk gone, they make a move on to Artes. But Artes, no points in the rage. Just moves himself back at level two. PSM's going to be taking a little bit of harass as well. And now the salve. So the Shadow Realm, not going to be able to get that extra damage off the... So we are two for two. Denied. Well, if you're trying to do what he can to deny these creeps, but Lifestealer is going to be able to get the last hit on Grata. Down the bot, like I say, two points into the axe, but Orbit is level four. Got two points of the sticky napalm, two into the five light. Gonna be a lot harder. So, uh, no fear hanging around, trying to see what he can do. Our realm comes out. I love that you can't select as a caster the Dark Willow when she's got that Shadow Realm on. It is magical bonus damage, so I'm pretty sure the Rage can stop that from being thrown at you. But, uh, obviously, not everything works as how it should in Dota 2. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of Frost. The Snowball's going to come out now. The Doppelganger will dodge it off. Is there going to be Ice Shards? Ice Shards fly through. Going to be a little bit of fire in front. The Brambles fall down. They might be able to turn this one around. Artes throws out the Rage, but Sound's got the heal. He is being sent back. Not going to be able to get that kill as Artes needs to run himself away. The Sentai could in close caught in that connect field. The second salve going to be coming through onto the Lifesteal, so... Will be able to heal him up, get himself close to full health. Uh, now, 
lectures as right. <laughs> I'm toying with you. You understand that, right? Yeah. What is going to go down? Just to see these chain rotations, keep an eye on the centaurs, the golems, anything else that wants to cause the lifesteal a foul. You know, back in the mid, Win and Pain did have an arcane that's just one off level 5, 2 into the scream now. The Bobruha needs to be careful about coming forward, just needs to wait for the creeps to push up, but Iceberg on top of the denies, and Bob. Oh, Bobby. Takes another Shadow Strike, that's going to be the Tidebringer once again, but Iceberg getting the denies off. Even the rotation coming through from Dark Willow with that smoke. Bob not coming forward at all. Doesn't want to be caught out. The brambles can be dropped from a decent range. But then it's up to Iceberg to, to slow him down with the Shadow Rays. Maybe even go through the back. There's going to be the brambles. Yeah, going behind the tower. The Scream of Pain comes out. Even the Sonic Wave. We're going to get a Kunker. Probably death. He's going to be death. Used the first point, obviously, into that torrent. But it wasn't enough. Uh, the Dire. Creeps still take down the Dark Willow. A creeps and tower combination. Meanwhile, bottom lane, the firefly is going to come out. There's going to be the lasso as well with the sticky napalm ice shards. And who says fire and ice don't mix? There's the tusk getting the assist on the beastmaster backrider. Level six now to the lasso, just coming out, having a good time on the spot lane. Thirty-one last hits to the beastmaster's thirteen. And now silent. Just being left alone with the lifesteal. Lifesteal can chase him away. PSM's coming in there as well. Only level 3. No fear coming into back up his carry. There's the kinetic field. Going to doppelganger around it. Actually gets himself caught on just the edge. So what says? I wonder what he's going to build. I mean the lifestealers aren't really battle fury builders. I suppose they do have the conquer. Um, to deal with the illusions coming up from the Phantom Lancer, but he's not having the best of times. Only on 19 last hits to the 36. And 19 denies. In fact, with this one, Quid of Pain's going to have more denies than she... Uh, than the Conquer does. Last hits. Top lane. Can actually feel this uh, curse ground on PSM. PSM is going to be able to get himself away. The Bramble's going to be slowing him down once again. Just need that Phantom Lance to get in there to slow him down even more. The Body Block's coming through. The Glimpse back onto Silent. But it looks like always want to fly. Going to be able to pick that one up. And now uh, it's going to be the Shadow Realm. Are they going to try and make a move as always want to fly? Being ticked down. The Open Wounds comes out. Tries to get himself away. But it's not going to be enough as Artes does pick up that kill. <laughs> no fear. Sending the creep back. But Orbit still picks up that kill. And now Silent once again being left alone. Left alone on the lane, not left alone on the lone. You want mid lane? It looks like Bob Rusha might go down. The boat is going to be popped. Iceberg. The glimpse is going to be the, the Queen of Pain. Taken down by the Tusker. No spells are up. Just yet for the Tusk. The Snowball has come back up now. Always want to fly. Trying to do what he can. Three points into the Shadow Realm. So he wants that harass damage. And now... Doppelgangers there. Do they have a lasso? Lasso is available. They're going to chase the wrong one. They even throw the lasso onto it. And now the Spirit Lance comes out. They are going to be able to take down Orbit. The chase is the... Oh, no. Lifesteal's not going to be able to find it. It's just going to go for the TP instead. And I don't think there's a roar available. Was used onto the Bat Rider. So that was a bit of a gaff there coming out from the side of Backpack. Not sure which one was real Phantom Lancer. And being made to pay for it. There's now non grata. He's got himself to level 7. Needs the farm. Could have been rotating up to the top lane. Up against the lifesteal. His Phantom Lancer moves down to the bot. To get a little bit of space. Conquer is there. But he just can't find the the room to farm. Somebody's always on his lane. Looking to do him harm. Denied. I mean, what is it? It's three times he's been slain. A couple of them to the Queen of Pain. Uh, actually... Who else did the Queen of Pain pick up? I think it was a kill on the Disruptor maybe as well. Top lane. Kinetic Field's going to be there. Whirling Axes. Is it going to be enough? He throws them out. It is going to be enough. And now Atez tries to do what he can. The Open Wounds. It is there. Chen's going to come through for the assist as well. Nongrata trying to run himself away. The Rage is going to wear off. Nongrata being sent back by Chen. And meanwhile in the mid. Brambles fall down. And Kunker 
Well, is this boat going to be sank once again? The scream comes out. The TP from always want to fly. Trying to get into their orbit, but just not going to be able to find that kill. And now Iceberg will have the blink up. Just trying to run himself away. Disruptors there. Can't get a range of the glimpse. So top lane, Tusk going to be left on his own. The Infest comes out. Is it going to be off chance being open wounds? They take down the Tusk with the axes. And now Atas decides he wants to bail Raw. Can he get himself in range? He's got those phase boots. But I'll test the blink up iceberg, even the scream of pain coming out there. Could have maybe got a shadow strike if the rest of his team had carried on going. <laughs> PSM just denies that regen. I suppose nobody needed it, didn't want it to fall into the enemy hands. A silent now, hunting for orbit. It's the doppelganger up, orbit trying to do what he can, does have the lasso once again, but the illusion's going to be doing damage. I think that's going to be enough to finish him off. Oh, he drags an illusion down. Again. Just picking the wrong Phantom Lancer. In fact, that probably saved his life because if you dragged the real Phantom Lancer, uh, Spirit Lance would have come out and with 96 health left, that would have been a dead, dead Bat Rider. So top lane now, Chen being snowballed into the Ice Shards are there as well. Beastmaster trying to do what he can, but he's going to be taken down. Artes now tries to get the run away, but the axes fly out. And non grata sent back to the Fountain. As Kati, the Siege Creep, does get that top tier 1. Always want to fly. There's the Spirit Lance. Brambles can come out with the Cursed Crown. I think you drop the Cursed Crown first. Firefly is going to be there. Yeah, the Cursed Crown into the Brambles. The Root is going to be there. And by the time it wears off, the Cursed Crown comes out. Even the Bedlam committed for that. It's a 40 second cooldown. That is disgusting. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Non-grata. Starting to get his farm now. It is 52 last hits. 11 minutes and 40 seconds in. Let's take a look at the net worth. Actually, he's sitting top of the net worth now. With that necro book, four kills and one assist to his name. He'll be doing quite well. Even the Phantom Lancer. 4.9 after that. Not a great start. You know, got himself three assists. Moving towards the Diffusal Blade now as well. So, FTM starting to come alive. <laughs> the raw onto the tusk. Speaking alive, the tusk will not be. One more right click static storm is going to be dropped for this. Are they going to be able to get the torrent? The boat's going to come through as well, but everybody runs themselves away. The glimpse a little bit too late in the send back by the chain. If the boat was on point, probably would have been a kill. But I just couldn't get the timings right. So now silent. Start to right click down this bottom tier one. The tusk rotating in. It looks like Dark Willow though finds herself a beast. Uh, sorry, a bat rider. The bedlam comes out. One more right click. Torrent's gonna be there, but it's not gonna be in time. As now they make a move on towards one fly. The storm is gonna be there. Even using the terrorize to try and get away from this. The glimpse back. Shadow realms there. Just maybe throws the right click out onto PSM. Does about a quarter of his health. Now the glimpse back, it just looks like, yep, Phantom Lance is abandoned her, but always want to fly, going to be buying space and time. Goes for the TP out, Ice Shard's nothing to stop this, the torrent. Split second too late. And it was the right call, just couldn't get it off in time. I think it had only just come off cooldown, maybe he'd only just got the mana for it. But, yeah, the torrent. Kunku gets the deny on the tier 1 as well, but this means the tier 2 tower is being pressured in. The Chen Creep's doing it. The Call of the Wild's still not at level 4, so he's only getting the balls. But Axes will clear through that wave like a knife through hot butter. Or a, a knife through hot creeps. A hot knife through creeps. Anyway, the Rage is going to be there. In fact, the Kinetic Field isn't going to be in time, but the Glimpse is. But as does survive through this, it does mean the tier 2 tower is going to be pressured. So, 14 minutes in. The T2 tower is going to fall. Beastmaster gets sent back. Silent sees Orbit. Does have the lasso though, so Silent backs himself away. Wants to play it more safe than sorry. X boat. Iceberg will have the blink if he can get it off in time. It's going to be the torrent to follow up. Open wounds. The lasso. Hand of God's trying to heal him, but even with it, <laughs> the snowball not needed. And I think the tower there got the final last hit. That's why everybody's getting that split 200 gold. 
We want Curse Crown, Static Stone, but there's already going to be the Bedlam being popped as well as that Shadow Realm. They try and get themselves in there now, but the Torrent Ice Shards terrorize maybe enough as the Shadow Realm comes up just in time to get the TP once again, but always want to fly. Ticks down. So smart by the Conquer. Stands himself. Obviously, the TP being there, he just runs himself to the creeps and right clicks in that direction. Thank you, camera. And now uh, the Tidebringer actually enough damages me on the bottom lane. There's going to be the lasso I think was used to keep Silent locked down. So 14 to 11. 15 minutes in. Raw's going to come out. The blinking by the Queen of Pain as well. The scream, the axe, his PSM should will go down there. And now Furby tries to run himself away with his spin. Shadow struck. Does have the mana to get the ice shards off, but the Queen of Pain just blinks forward. Don't care about that. Sonic Wave. Snowball saves his life. Artes is going to take that Sonic Wave to the fate though. And now right clicks coming out. Artes is going to be able to take this. Gets the infest off, but I think they might be able to take down the Bat Rider as well to get the kill as Artes tries to get out. Tries to help fight with his team, and all he gets is death. But Orbit will pick up the kill onto the Beastmaster. Now Queen of Pain just needs to move herself back. So Iceberg. Four points into the Scream of Pain. Two into the Sonic Wave. Going for the Yules. So yeah, it is just going to be that casual... Double null tally as uh, Iceberg just using the bounty runes to fill the bottle. And get out the conquer. Is he going to be able to find the kill? He shows himself on lane. It looks like though the Bat Rider is going to be able to get the lasso. I think this is going to be enough with the Static Storm. Torrent should be enough lockdown. The Terrorize comes out. Yule sept it up, but he might still burn down. Just gets himself out of the Firefly. Now going to be able to bottle up. Blink himself away. X marks the spot. Does come out. Shadow Realm. And I can't select to always want to fly when he's in the Shadow Realm. Thank you, Valve. As uh, always want to fly. Did keep himself alive, though. No follow-up spells, just because he couldn't be targeted. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. So the lane is going to be cleared off. The making pretty good work of this. A 10k net worth lead. FTM at 17 minutes. Tower's going down. In fact, they may look to the tier 2 tower now on the bot lane as well. Beastmaster. Chen should be able to make quick work of this. Yeah, no, four points into the call of the wild now as well. Just look at this. It's Iceberg takes down PSM in the mid lane. But the illusions, the creeps, the minions... It's just ridiculous. In fact, that's not even with the Beastmaster. Now he uses the Necrobox. Queen of Pain gets himself in there. The Sonic Wave's going to come through. Snowball not going to be in time. And even the Batrider locked down on the Brambles. He should be able to get at least one kill here. Orbit's not going to be able to get himself away. Always want to fly. The Tusk Punch does come out. But he does get killed off. Now the buybacks. But it's only going to be... Where's the eyes in the Necro Creep? And they don't really want to attack that. As I says now, it's going to be the Cursed Crown as he TPs himself in. Bob Ruha puts himself in a really bad position. Terrifies. So there's going to be Shadow Realm damage coming through onto the Disruptor as well. I think, ladies and gents, this could be a pre-20 minutes Megas. With only two heroes left, I think the Tusk by and back Snowball is going to be there, but the Shadow Realm should be there. In fact, it just was off. GG is going to be called PSM. No more, says Backpacks. No more. And, uh... Game is called. Yeah, 18 minutes and 40 seconds. Fly to Moon take the victory. So they move on to play up against Effect in a best of three. See who moves on to the to the playoff stages. It is 11:35. The match was scheduled to start at 12. I'll check with the um, the admins, the Tony admins, see if it's going to start any sooner. But stick around, guys, because it is going to be Fly to Moon up against Effect. Over and beyond the Summit 3. I've been your cast of Rum Roll Gaming. It was a glorious 20 minutes with uh, 35 kills. 
And uh, for now, we're going to take a quick break. We'll throw some music, and like I say, we'll see what's coming up. But um, stick around, guys. We'll be back with Effects versus Flight to Moon as soon as we get a lobby up. <laughs> 